Earn While You Learn, Switzerland's vocational education and training system, a model for apprenticeships in the United States. Meet Austin, who is an apprentice at Bueller, a Swiss company in Minnesota. Bueller manufactures machines for the food processing industry and offers an apprenticeship program inspired by the Swiss educational system. My name is Austin Carline. I'm 20 years old and I'm a third year apprentice at Bueller in the customer service engineering program. We are learning how to become customer service engineers, which is going on site in the field and installing or repairing the machines. When Bueller started its operations in the United States, the company had trouble finding skilled workers to fill its job openings. We couldn't find the trained people here in the United States as you would find them in Switzerland. And uh, the colleges here, they do train uh, these young kids and they do learn, but they are disconnected mostly from the industry. The industry, meanwhile, has developed uh, and what they are providing on school there does not support the needs of today or to tomorrow business. To create their own talent pool, Bueller established a three-year program that provides students with a debt-free, hands-on work experience to kickstart their careers, an argument that convinced both Austin and his parents. It really drew me that you get to get paid while doing work and you can travel. I love that all three, you're learning and you're getting a salary while you're doing it, so it was really, really cool to me. I see Austin has a lot of practical knowledge. He goes to school and he's really gotten the experience. And he's really grown from communicating with adults, communicating with other people, and, and seems to enjoy it. Just like Austin, many young professionals in Switzerland view an apprenticeship as a first step toward their future careers. At age 14, Swiss students start thinking about their professional interests. They apply for apprenticeships, which last three to four years, and combine classes with work-based learning at a company. Once apprentices graduate from the program, they have a wealth of job prospects and the possibility to pursue further education. The U.S. has shown great interest in learning more about the Swiss dual model. President of Switzerland, Johann Schneider Amann, participated in the signing of a joint declaration of intent, which marked the starting point of an intensified exchange between Switzerland and the U.S. And the best way to change experience is to go into practice. And the Swiss head companies have a lot of subsidiaries in the United States. And in these subsidiaries, the uh, Swiss-based people engage a young apprentice and offer them an a apprenticeship the Swiss way. And that's the best uh, basis to transfer uh, know-how. More and more Swiss companies are setting up programs in the U.S. For instance, Zurich Insurance, which celebrated the launch of its insurance apprenticeship program and its inaugural class of 24 apprentices in early 2016. So our success formula for training apprentices is to make sure that we have a great balance between the classroom and then the hands-on work but also making sure they rotate through different departments so they get a, a broader view of the organization. As part of the inaugural class, I feel extremely honored. I feel excited. I feel like I'm not only setting an example for apprentices to come after me, but I'm setting a great example for my children and I'm raising all girls. So that's going to be monumental when they look back and they say, look, mommy was part of the inaugural class. And that gives me sheer excitement and pride. Another example is Nestle, which is committed to increasing the number of apprenticeships at their plants. So Project Opportunity at Nestle is a significant effort in the United States to really address a skill gap within our facilities. And so apprenticeships are a significant portion of how we're going to be bringing new employees into our organization and setting them up for success so that they can first of all be safe, but also be extremely productive. And apprenticeships, we found, have been an extremely effective way to address the needs of the business as well as the future employees. Companies benefit from offering apprenticeships because a better qualified workforce leads to higher productivity and better innovation capabilities. Apprenticeships are a talent development strategy and can help to close the skills gap. The Earn While You Learn model is tailor-made to the current opportunities that exist in the United States. The skills ecosystem requires us in the United States to expand our apprenticeship footprint. 
and companies like Bueller and Zurich Insurance and uh, Nestle are really helping us do exactly that. The Embassy of Switzerland is committed to bringing the Swiss expertise in the area to the table. The most important uh, for me is the interface in between government and private companies. This might look very different in the United States than it looks in Switzerland, but I think this is the, the most interesting one, to give a role to the private sector, basically to those who are interested in educated people, in educated younger people. Meanwhile, Austin is finishing his school day. Another day and another step toward a bright professional future. Apprenticeships not only give students great opportunities, they also provide a way for companies to grow the talent they need to stay competitive. Swiss companies are paving the way when it comes to expanding apprenticeships in the United States. And who knows, maybe in the future, many American students might choose a pathway similar to Austin's. <laughs>